Hey guys, welcome to Data Structure and Algorithm using Java. In this tutorial, I am going to show you the iterative binary choice algorithm. So let's get started. All right, let's say we have an array of integers. So like this way. Okay, then we have the value 1, 3, 4, 8, 12, 20, 35, 36, 40, 41, 55, and 99. So, this is our array. You have to remember that binary search algorithm will be applied in a sort, sorted array. So, this is our sorted array. Now, we want to find a value, let's say 8 want to find the value 8 so this is a divide and conquer algorithmic paradigm that means it will divide the whole array into two parts so this is our lower part and this is our 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 okay so we have 0 to 11 values that means 12 values I mean 12 items or you can say 12 value so first it will divide the array into two parts now we need to find the midpoint I mean we need to calculate the midpoint in between 0 and 11 in order to make it two different two separate part so how can we get it let's say this is low and this is high or you can say this is right and this is left so how can we get the midpoint mid equal left plus right divided by 2 so that means left equals 0 plus right equals 11 by 2 which is 11 divided by 2 that means 5.5 .5. so it means 5 so our midpoint is in the five fifth position 0 1 2 3 4 5 so if we want to find the 8 value I mean if you want to charge the 8 so first it will divide first it will divide into two separate part so we need to find we need to calculate the mid which is 5 then we need to calculate we need to compare the value with fifth position if it is greater than in the fifth position that means that value should be between 6 to 11 if that value is less than 10 that means that value must be in between 0 to 4 so in our case we want to find x equal 8 so first it will compare with middle position which is 20 so 
8 is less than 20 so the 8th value is must be in between 0 to 4 then we need to calculate again 0 and 4 I mean we need to find out the mid position between 0 and 4 which is in this way it will be 0 plus 4 divided by 2 that means 4 divided by 2 which is 2 so our mid position is 2 now we need to compare that value 8 is greater than 4 if it is greater than 4 I mean if it is greater than the mid value then it must be in between 3 to 4 so it was mid position then it was whenever it is mid position then we need to change the high position into the this is now high then low and high mid is 2 then if the value is greater than mid position mid value then low should be low equal to mid plus 1 that means 3 is now low so low is 3 high is 4 now we need to find out the mid position so which is 3 plus 4 divided by 2 that means 7 divided by 2 which is 3 so our mid position is now 3 now we need to check the value if 8 is equal to or not so 8 is equal 8 in the mid position so we find it so we found the value if it is 9 instead of uh, 8 if it is 9 in this case let's say we want to find x equal 9 in that case it will again it will find out the that means it will it would be 8 greater than 9 9 so so it means it would be actually 9 greater than 8 so if it is greater than the mid value then it must be the next position so on that case low should be this one 4 now this is low and this is also high so now how can you find the mid value 4 plus 4 that means 8 divided by 2 that means 4 so mid value is now 4 now we need to check it is equal to or I mean it is equal to 8 but this is false in this case we can see that our 9 is less than 12 so high should be low I mean mid minus 1 that means high should be 3 but in this case low is 4 so we have to check this value while low is greater than or equal high so this condition is false in this position because high is 3 and low is 4 so that means 9 is not existed in the array so you can see this is divided the whole array into two parts so that means it is first it is checked in that position in the half part then it is checked second half part again 
then it is checked t to 5 then it is checked 4 to 5 that means all the times it is divided into half that means this algorithm maintains the log n so this is much faster than linear charts linear charts take big one while it is taking big o log n now let's get started with eclipse all right so go to file menu take a project binary charts iterative all right then take a new class let's say binary charts main okay so first take an array new integer Similarly, one, three, four, eight, twelve, twenty, thirty five, thirty six, thirty five, thirty six, then forty, forty one, fifty five, forty, forty one. 99 okay then make a the method aesthetic integer or we can say boolean binary charts we need to know the array and key or value so let's say low equal zero high equal a dot len minus one while low is greater than or equal high oops okay meet equal low plus high divided by 2 if array meet equal value then return true otherwise lc a meet value is greater than value that means if the meet value which is for example this one 12 is greater than our value 8 then we have to change the high position to the meet minus 1 so that means then high equal meet minus 1 why we set meet minus 1 because we already checked the meet value so we don't need to check the meet again else that means that means our meet value is, is less than the value I mean yep it's less than the value that means value is greater than the mid value that means in this case our value is in the in the position in between 5 to 11 so we need to change the lower position from 0 to mid plus 1 that means 5 because mid we already checked the mid position so low equal mid plus 1 
so if there is if this is not found in the while loop then we can return false we can check it stem out or array and value let's say 8 actually it will return the boolean so we can say oops no this for this binary charts we need to call the method b charts okay and run true let's say this is 9 and this is false now we can debug it so you can easily get it put a breakpoint press f11 then press f5 so low is 0 high is 10 i mean 11 so check mid is now 5 and we will check array mid that means array 5 which is 20 is greater than the value so high equal mid minus 1 that means now our high value should be 4 now mid is 5 that means 20 20 is greater than 8 that means 8 is in between 0 to 4 so mid should be I mean high should be 4 which is mid minus 1 yep high is 4 then we have to check in between 0 to 4 mid is 2 2 is 4 value is 8 which is greater than so low is now mid plus 1 because our mid is now this one 2 which is 4 so 8 is greater than 4 that means 8 is between mid plus 1 that means 3 to 4 okay so now you can see mid is 3 in the mid value 3 and this is found so true now let's say this is 9 press f11 f5 set mid is 5 so now mid is 3 3 is basically 8 our value is 9 not matched so this is no low is mid plus 1 now mid is 4 so f4 which is 12 which is greater than so high equal mid minus 1 now you can see high is 3 low is 4 condition false that means this value is not in the array that's why it's written false so this is a iterative way how to code on binary charts and its complexity is big O log n because it divided into half. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe this channel. In the next tutorial, I'll show you how to code on recursive way in uh, the binary search algorithm. Then I will show you a quick sort, merge sort, insertion, and heap sort. BST, I mean binary search tree, and so on. So, please be with me and thank you.